Hi everyone, this is your Grade 5 Social Science Chapter 9, The Constitution of India, Video 2. So, in the previous video, we have seen about uh, Constitution, what is Preamble, what is Parliament, yes, and what are the fundamental rights and duties, and when do we celebrate Republic Day, why do we celebrate Republic Day, and how do we celebrate Republic Day, yes. Okay, the next topic is all about the Preamble. We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India in a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to secure all its citizens, justice, social, economic and political, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of status and of opportunity, and to promote among them all fraternity, assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. In our Constitution Assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact and give to our, ourselves this Constitution. This is what they are in our preamble. Okay. The first thing is sovereign state. Yes, we are an independent country as we have own government to govern us. By sovereign we mean to supreme in all matters and have complete freedom to make our own rules and laws. We have gone into wars with other countries to maintain our sovereignty, to maintain our supreme power. Okay. So, we have our own government. That is sovereignty. Next thing is socialist state. There is a need to bring about economic and social equality. By socialist state, we mean that everyone is equal. Yes. In front of law. And we should work towards the progress of our country. The next topic is secular state. Uh, we, we already knew that India is a secular country. It means that in our country, we treat all the religions equally and our constitution gives every citizen the right to practice his or her own religion. Yes. Then the next thing is democratic state. India is a democratic country. It means that every citizen has the right to choose his or um, her own leaders. We can all vote to elect our leaders once we are 18 years of age. Next topic is about Republic State. By a Republic State, we mean that we have a political system in which the supreme power lies with the citizens. As the citizens elect certain people to represent them, any country where the citizens elect their leaders after few years, after every few years, it is called a Republic State. So, India, India, is, India is a Republic country. Okay. Therefore, we say that our government is by the people, of the people and for the people. Okay. Let us uh, go back to our preamble. Yes. One minute. Yes. And you all will see a few important words such as justice, liberty, equality, fraternity, unity and integrity. We would not, we would not have a democratic, social, secular and republic state if we were not given justice, equality and fraternity. Let's understand these two words too. Okay. So, the next topic is all about justice. Yes, in our country, we aim at ensuring that every person should be given justice irrespective of his or her caste, race, sex and religion. This picture shows a statue that is placed in every court in India and this signifies that all are equal in the eyes of law. Liberty. Liberty is defined as the right of individuals to act without restraint as long as their actions do not interfere with the equal rights of others. In India, we get liberty and freedom of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship. The next topic is equality. Every mother treats all her children equally. In the same way, in our country, we all are equal. Equality means to treat every person equally in front of law and to be assured equal protect protection to all the people of India. The next topic is all about fraternity. Fraternity means to encourage every one of us to treat our fellow beings in the spirit of brotherhood. And this helps and helps in keeping our country united. Then, by unity and integrity, we can build a strong and united India. Then, Concept this uh, the, the Indian constitution has taken various features from other constitution. The concept of liberty, equality and fraternity were taken from the French constitution. The concept of social and economic rights was taken from Ireland. The next, uh, next one is practice on three children. For first one, 
sovereign democracy uh, you have to unscramble the following words first one sovereign democracy socialist fraternity second one why did india fight war with other countries india fought war with other countries to maintain its sovereignty to maintain its supreme power third one why do you think the statue of justice is blindfolded the statue of justice is blindfolded to indicate that all are equal in the eyes of law so based on this video children there are few questions what is the meaning of the following sovereignty you have to write the meanings fraternity and democracy second one, uh, then next one is liberty next one the concept of liberty has taken from the das constitution for this question you can refer content book page number 130 for answer in the etc part okay thanks for watching the video keep watching